2017 will be remembered as one of the most important years in GRDA history. Here's a quick review of some highlights. In January, the GRDA Legislative Task Force visited the Grand River Energy Center for an update from management. Customers were also there to share their thoughts on the positive role GRDA plays in the state. In February, GRDA continued the tradition of annual customer meetings as an opportunity for open dialogue. That same month, GRDA police also met the public at the Tulsa Boat Show to promote water safety. That message would be a priority all year long. The first fire of Unit 3 took place on a cold morning in mid-March. It was a major step towards the completion of the project as the finish line drew near. By April, the popular Brush for Brush program was underway and GRDA was being honored with the Clarence Fulkerson Electric System Achievement Award at the MISO conference. But the month was a wet one with flooding along the Grand and Illinois River systems. GRDA responded with several floodgate operations under the direction of the Corps. As the water receded on the Illinois, crews from several departments worked together in late May to reclaim and rebuild gravel bars that had washed away, helping to set the stage for summer visitors. In June, Unit 3 reached sellable power completion, while just next door the effort to rebuild Unit 2 continued on. In July, Grand Lake again served as a backdrop for the annual legislative getaway as lawmakers got an up-close look at one of the state's most powerful economic engines and recreation destinations. Back at Grec, Unit 2 was generating electricity by the end of August and would return to commercial operations later in the year. Meanwhile, below Kerr Dam, GRDA's excavation crew was completing a rebuild and riprap project along the north side tail race. Also in August, FERC approved GRDA's license variance request. As a result, the annual drawdown of Grand Lake in the middle of the month is no longer required. September was framed by mutual aid efforts. GRDA police traveled to Houston to help with water recoveries following Hurricane Harvey, and GRDA linemen traveled to Florida to help restore power after Hurricane Irma. By late October, things were in place for big events. GRDA hosted the MISO Lime Workers Rodeo at the Mid-America Expo Center, and the next day, the authority held a dedication for Unit 3 with hundreds of guests in attendance. That historic event was highlighted by the news that Unit 3 is the most efficient 60 hertz power plant in the world. The following day, employees and their families also gathered at Grec for Family Day. Then at the November board meeting, there was another historic moment when GRDA rededicated a rebuilt Unit 2. Finally, with December's arrival, the year began to wind down for Team GRDA. While there were many other highlights, these were just a few that helped us to meet the 5E mission in 2017. Together we look forward to 2018.